we both had a craving for ice cream and were trying to find a good ice cream joint in the neighborhood. They'll pick me up for the road. Oh look, now the bus stops have touch screens. Really the future. But seriously, that's pretty cool. Also, look at the bus stop signs. They're brand new and I think they're snazzy as hell. Turcos fans. I've always had a weird fascination for the color turquoise, not sure why. Gratuitous Canal shot number one, the first of a long series. Strolling in the neighborhood, looking for ice cream. Stroll, stroll, stroll. Stroll, stroll, stroll. This is gelato. Actually, it's my first time ever eating gelato. Uh, she took a Nutella one and I took one with a uh, melon. They were awesome. We ate them in a shitty little garden that had the tremendous advantage of being nearby. Then it got quite late, so time to get back home. Later at night I had a craving for mint tea so I went to the nighttime food store to get some fresh mint. Here's my recipe. Some sugar at the bottom, then you put the tea, then the mint leaves, a nice dash of lemon juice and the secret ingredient to make it extra good, cloves. And then you add some hot water. Not boiling though, or you're gonna ruin everything. It has to be around 75 degrees Celsius. Look at that. It looks like a warm glass of piss. Disgusting. It looks awful. But it was really, really good, so be fooled by appearances. An important life lesson. Even later at night I had a cravings for some pasta so I made some with um, lardon, onions, olive oil and parmigiano. Pasta in the middle of the night is always the best pasta, don't you think?
The next day, it was really warm and sunny and look at that. Look, look, look. Mm, blue sky with some clouds, but yeah, it was really blue. It doesn't render well in video. It was really hot though. Strolling in the streets of my neighborhood again. I thought going to this little garden for a while, but I was in a picnic mood, so uh, I went looking for a bakery. Hey, look, that's my favorite bar of the whole neighborhood. It's not because it, I, it has fish on it, but uh, it just happens to have a fish on it, which makes it extra good, obviously. Really nice bar, with a lot of outside tables, and really nice tapas. tapas. Oh, involuntary IT crowd reference. I hope you got it. Lots of strolling in this vlog. Oh, I'm at the park. The big park. You know, it's legit because it has a flag on it. That's how you know when things are legit, kids. Anyway, more strolling. Trying to find a suitable picnic spot. Dogo! Another Dogo. A real Dogo medley some skyline noise that's the northwest you're watching northwestern skyline Like I finally found a good place to rest and eat my picnic, improvised little picnic. Time for some sandwich unboxing. Oh wait, wait, wait. I'm just realizing that I'm really out of breath and sweaty because I walked a lot and it's hot, so time for some rest actually. It's good to have a big park close to the house. Yeah, I said I walked a lot, but uh, I walked for like 10 minutes. And I'm really out of shape. Gotta exercise more. Yep. Anyway, back to the good stuff. Sandwich. It's a chicken stew sandwich with a lot of spices, some potatoes, hard boiled eggs, and black and green olives, a nice touch. And a chocolate bread as a makeshift dessert. That's all for today. Subscribe if you want to know the rest of the day. And much more. See ya folks. Peace.